New York Beauty XOXO. I'm just showing you my, sh I'm not showing you my boobs. I'm showing you my shirt. My mom got this for me. She saw that it had a French bulldog on it. And I have a French bulldog named Pugsley and she had to get it. It's from the L line from Kohl's, <laughs> just so you guys know. Um, I don't even think they sell it anymore, but. Hi, welcome back to my videos. This is going to be an empties video. Um, apparently I acquire a lot of uh, trash. I accumulate a lot of trash, I meant to say. So uh, let's get to it because there's so much to show you. I feel like I just did an empties video and I remember watching a couple of empties over the years or over the last year and saying to myself, damn, these girls go through their makeup like crazy. Like I could have like a powder for like 15 years. Do they like cake that on all day long? Like I do my makeup once a day and I very rarely touch it up unless it's an event or I'm looking like a hot mess. Like I very rarely go through products, but these products I go through, it's not, it's more, I guess, body and those type of products versus makeup. So anyway, that's just a side note, whatever. Um, okay, let's get into it. I also, you know, my last empties I forgot to show because I keep in a separate container my Mac back to Max. And I think I had one thing in there. So now I might have two or three. So anyway, that's just, you know, this is not just from this past month and a half to two months. This was the past like four months, I want to say, because that's when I did my last empties, maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But anyway, so I'll show you this as well um, after. All right. So, uh, and a couple of these might have like a drop on the bottom. You know, when you try to get all this stuff out and you can't get it out, but then when you hold it up right and like a week later, you're like, where did all that come from? Like, you know what I mean? But anyway, this is almonds and cream. If anybody knows me and watches my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with almond scents above all. It's my favorite, favorite scent. And it's very rare to find things almond scented. You know, I know that um, a couple of lines have it here and there. I think uh, Carol's Daughter has an almond scented uh, line. But anyway, yes, yeah, so this is almonds and cream. And I stocked up on this when I when Philosophy came out with this. I don't think they carry this any longer. I could be wrong. But I might try to get that last drop out the bottom. You know, these... These bottles are hard to get product out of because it's such a hard plastic. It's hard to squeeze it. Um, you really need a lot of strength in your hands. So that's just, you know, one imperfection about their product. I love the Philosophy line, don't get me wrong. I've been a fan for years. But anyway, this is almonds and cream. I tend to go on and on, so I need to shut her down. Um, hilarious. See, who goes through a deodorant in a month? I do. When it's the... Uh, you know the clear gels and it's like the push-up one you tend to go through this quicker than Just like the powdery type solids, I guess so I went through this. This is so very summer berry and Oh my gosh, it smells like strawberries and watermelon. It is amazing. I'm gonna get this again Just because I just love the way it smells. Oh my gosh Okay, I've been if anybody watches my videos, you know, I've been trying to find the ultimate uh, body wash because I feel like a lot of these I don't really care for they're drying on the skin or they don't foam up or you know I'm just trying to find a really nice body wash and I've been buying different brands lately this is white rain this is a cheapie um, the only reason why I bought this is because it says energizing citrus I'm trying to get the Sun out of here um, and it smells really nice especially in the morning when you're trying to wake up so I really like this uh, will I purchase the White Rain brand again? Probably not. Um, it's not that exciting or thrilling or, you know, but it was nice for what it was. That's done. Um, let's see. I have the Aussie Miracle. This is Total Miracle Collection 7-in-1. Um, it's a kind of like a moisturizing, I guess. It's the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I didn't like this. I love the Aussie moist conditioner. I believe it's like five bucks. It's in like a rounder bottle. Uh, you girls probably know what I'm talking about. And um, it, it's really good for the ends of your hair. But as far as like a, uh, a shampoo and a conditioner, conditioner wasn't as bad. The shampoo, I feel like my hair was still greasy after using it. Now, I don't know. Maybe it, I need more of a clarifying shampoo. And that's my fault that I bought the wrong one. So I'm not really bashing Aussie or their products. I really like the Aussie brand. It's just this didn't really work very well for me. I mean, I used it up, but I won't purchase this particular um, style again. This 
product for my hair type because I tend to get a little greasy, especially on the insides of my hair over there. So anyway, eh, that was kind of a miss. But I use it up. I like to use up my products. Um, this is a soap. Uh, I like to stock up in the fall and, and winter season because I care for those scents more than the spring and summer. This is Salted Caramel. It is a pumping soap. Um, this is, I think, the antibacterial one, the one with the little beads. And yeah, I mean, it was, oh my gosh, it smells delicious. You know, who doesn't love caramel? <laughs> Um, I put this in here. This isn't exciting and this isn't something I would normally put in a beauty channel type of an empties, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is my favorite toothpaste. It's the Crest Pro Health. Um, it's like a blue minty one. It comes out like that color and I just love this toothpaste. Um, it's just delicious and I feel like it does a really great job and it's, it's got everything in one. It, you know, freshens your breath. It's, you know, what teeth whitener and all that. This Crest Pro Health brand I really like. So anyway, just to let you know what that was. That's not exciting garbage, is it? Sorry, my bandeau top has fallen. Um, I went through a Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar. This is a bubble bath. This isn't a shower gel. And I really like their bubble bath. Um, you know, I've had better, but I've also had a lot worse. So this is pretty good. It foams up. It lasts a long time. Um, you know, the scent is nice. I like the warm vanilla sugar scent. And, you know, I'll probably repurchase this in the future. I just want to get through all of my stash, so I won't be shopping that much soon, you know. Um, another thing I used up, this is a sample from uh, when I went to, Saf I ordered off Sephora.com. But I was just interested because it had two Becca powders. One was like a banana powder and one was like a brightener. It was kind of like a peachy color. And did I like these products? They were okay. I mean, you know, I don't have any Becca highlighters, but I wasn't that hugely impressed with this product where I would spend the money on it. That's just my personal opinion. But it was nice to try, you know. This was, I believe I got this from Ulta Studio 35 Beauty. This was 100 of the little square cottons. Um, not cotton balls, but the square cotton things. And I think I got this back when Ulta used to give you points for your purchases and then you could buy something small for free. They would give like a giveaway. Um, I purchased this because I didn't have that, that many points. At the time I was shopping more at Sephora, uh, than Ulta. And I think my mom even like gave me her points on my card. So these cotton squares, I usually just put a toner on. That's what I use it for. And I use that up. And I think I bought, the last time I got it was from Walmart. I'm using their brand now, which is fine. Um, this, I actually put an Instagram photo. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. Um, it's Pug and Spencer one on Instagram. And um, that's after my dogs. This is Creamy Coconut. I, I showed a picture of myself in this mask. It's by Freeman. No, it's not. It's not the Freeman brand. Um, I had in the past used a whole bunch of Freeman masks. This was, I bought online, you know, it like the little, uh, when you're waiting online at Ulta and there's those little uh, kiosk things where you can throw some extra things in your cart. This brand is called Montagne Genese. I don't know. I never heard of it. It is a coconut water and shea butter coconut creamy coconut mask for tired skin. It comes out white. Um... And I really liked it. Uh, made my skin feel like a baby's bottom. Um, did it like exfoliate? No, I don't think it's meant for that. But it was a very nice mask. And I would repurchase this again if I was in Ulta. The other couple of Freeman masks I've used in the past, I like a little bit better. But, you know, I would repurchase this. It was only a couple bucks. So I went through that. Getting to the end, people. Um, this is a, another soap. This is the foaming one. This is sugar berry shortcake hand soap. See, I'm not really that crazy as the, of the fruity scents as I am of the bakery scents. Um, that's just my personal preference. You know, for soap, it's nice because, you know, I think I had this in the kitchen. Um, you know, but would I repurchase this again? Probably not. And I don't even know if they make the scent again. Sometimes they bring back the scent. Sometimes they don't. Um, but you know, I used it up. It was fine for what it was. Hand soap's hand soap. I mean, that's the way I look at it. As long as it's not that commercial drawing stuff, I'm okay. This is another sample I got from Sephora. Jack Black Glycolic Facial Cleanser. 
Um, I had high hopes for this little product. I was so excited that I had a Jack Black, um, you know, sample to put in my cart at Sephora.com. And um, it was a one use uh, just for the face. I used it for my face. I was actually going to give it to my hubby, but he's so stuck on his because he has sensitive skin. He didn't want to take a chance, even though Jack Black is a good brand. But um, I wasn't impressed. I didn't feel like it did anything different than any other cleanser does. It was just okay, and would I purchase this? No, I'm not gonna. Um, I mean, it was okay for a sample, but it wasn't earth shattering, in my opinion. And um, for me to go from something drug story that I like to something high end that didn't knock my socks off is not something that I would do. So, Jack Black, I don't know. I gotta try more of your products. I mean, I'm not gonna bash your brand or anything, but I have to try more of your products. Um, this is a hand sanitizer. This is a winter candy apple left over from the winter time. Um, I used this up. And one last thing I used up is, this is also a sample from Sephora.com, Daisy perfume. Oh my gosh, I love Daisy. This was such a treat because I haven't used Daisy in years and I forgot how nice it was. Um, yeah, so I used up this. I, I used this for like a week or two straight. And I used up this entire sample. So you've actually got a lot of sprays out of this. So this was nice. And, um, you know, I'm thinking about repurchasing. You know, that's why it's good for those uh, companies to do this. Because I forgot how much I like Daisy. And when all said and done with all the perfume I have and I use up, I might get a rollerball um, of this. Because I like to switch up my scents a lot. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, so that's everything that's in my doggy purse. That is my dog. Um... Uh, now I'll go through the MAC stuff. MAC, MAC, MAC. I used up. I love MAC wipes. But you know what? I only get them when I'm by the MAC store. If not, I usually use the Pond ones or the CVS. So anyway, I used up a smaller, I think this only has 45 sheets of MAC. What else do I have in here? This is another thing that a product I wanted to use up. It's only got like that much left in it. This is their concealer. I absolutely love this product. I've been trying all different kinds of concealers since this got goopy and it's down to the very end. Um, and I, I've yet to find something that I really like. I'm going to maybe try the NARS next, but I'm probably going to repurchase this. Um, this is just a box with a Studio Fix uh foundation that I haven't used up yet. So that's not really an empty. That's just in there. Once again, that's an eyeshadow. And that is a pump. I don't know if that's even considered. That's not really empties. Yeah, so that's it. This is just a cap to something. Uh, yeah, so it was just those three, those two empties was that and that. I'm pretty sure I had an eyeliner, but I don't know where it went. Maybe it rolled out. Went bye bye. That is my empties. I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to film my August favorites. I realize that I have so many that I'm going to have to do it in a beauty and then a non-beauty um, part one and part two video. So I didn't realize how many favorites I had this month. August was a long month. So um, stay tuned for that. I am going to film that next. So this is New York Beauty XOXO saying bye-bye for now.